Hey, I'm Destiny. Today I'm going to be testing out the Speed Ledge. This is a product right here that fits onto the rail, which I have it mounted currently on my XDS 3.3 in 45. And the idea is that it gives your thumb a place to stay, so it should help to stabilize your grip. And I'm going to be testing it out today. My XDS with a 3.3 inch barrel is one of my heavier hitting uh, firearms. I mean with that short barrel, it's not surprising it's going to pop a bit. So I thought that would be the perfect opportunity to put the speed ledge on and see if it didn't help anything. I tried this kind of a, almost like a Mozambique drill where I was trying for two shots in the body and then two in the head. Attaching or detaching the, the ledge is actually really simple. You just need to uh, screw it onto a Picatinny rail and it comes with a, its own Allen wrench. And they also provide grip tape for you to put inside of your rail to protect it on the off chance that the rail or the, the ledge moves while you're firing. But it should be firm with just a little bit of flex and that's it. So here's a shot without the speed ledge. You can see that my thumb popped entirely off of the frame while I fired. I mean, you've got this two inch grip, or two finger grip on this gun, and it's a 45 round, so it's, there's, there's some considerable mu muzzle rise during the fire. So you see my grip here with the ledge attached. It's further back. There's still definite muzzle rise, but my grip stays more stable, and it takes me a little bit less time to reacquire my target. And I think that helped with uh, double tap shots. See, look at that thumb pop right off again without the ledge. All right, now let's have some fun with it. Decided to mix it up a little bit and use some Ipsic style cardboard targets. Thanks, Action Target! If you want to know more about the speed ledge, check out the written review on thearmsguide.com. And thanks for watching.